why do we go through menopause and is there an evolutionary advantage disadvantage like what why does this happen in the human in the human species so there's you know the theory which is just one guy in north carolina said it one time and it kind of got picked up it went viral because mm -hmm. no one else could explain it when you look at ovarian evolutionary biologists and the people who were studying how do we extend the shelf life of the ovary, they it's very controversial, the grandmother hypothesis. So, but you know, it, it kind of makes sense. The evolutionary advantage might be for community. Typically, evolutionary advantages are for the individual to survive. This is one of the few theories that looks at how it would affect a community. And when we look at whales, grandmothers have, you know, whales, certain species of whales do go through menopause. And that, that kind of forms a group of individuals who can no longer reproduce, but, but are still active and become caretakers of their community. And so that was kind of the theory looking at the one species, I forget which type of whale, blue whale, I think. And there's very few species that actually have a menopause, you know, in mammals. And there's like five and we're one of them. And... But I think it might be giraffes other and like people, some snails or yeah, something like that. Yeah, giraffes and yeah. the giraffe and a couple of under uh, underwater, you yeah. know, species. Mm -hmm. So when you look at you know real evolution, we died before menopause. We did not live that long, so there really wasn't a menopause. It was just you died at the end of your reproductive function. Women didn't live much past the age of forty, and they were reproducing a lot younger than we do because of social, you know because of how we've evolved as a culture. We have cultural reasons we delay childbearing to our 20s when we could actually reproduce quite easily in our teens, you know? And so, so that being said, there's a, that kind of fuels a thought of why would we intervene if this was the way it was meant to be. But here's the reality. Women live longer than men, up to six years for age-matched men. But we spend 20% of our lives in poorer health than a man. And I can tell you, my patients who are coming to me are very upset about this. They're looking at their mothers. They're looking at their, you know, family, what's going on with the older people, older women in the generation. And they're seeing women spending years in bed with dementia, years in bed with frailty, who don't have active, healthy lives. Most women can expect to have the last 10 years of their life to be in very, very poor health. They're living longer but it's not a health span. It's just a lifespan. And so they're coming to me saying, I don't want that. And what puts people in a nursing home that they can't think and that they can't move are the two top reasons, frailty and dementia. And they want to do everything in their power to avoid that. And guess what happens in menopause? The race to those two conditions accelerates. And giving you estrogen will slow that down. Not to negate lifestyle, that is hugely important here. But my patients want to put every tool in their toolkit possible to, you know, get them to the finish line as healthy as possible. Well, as they should. They want to die like a man. A yeah. man just lives his life and dies. You know, like has a heart attack, has a stroke, yeah. whatever. And does it, not as much as women have this protracted, long, poor health span where they're miserable and their families have it. I don't want my children to sacrifice their lives, their families, their jobs to come and take care of me. And right, that's kind right. of what's happening today. Right. For and it would never be acceptable. It would never be acceptable if that was, if that was the story for most men. It would so never be acceptable. Here's what, I mean, just flip the switch. A man wakes up at 50. He can't sleep because of hot flashes. His PP has shrunk to a sausage size. He can't have sex anymore. It's so painful. He can't think because of brain fog. He's having weird musculoskeletal pain. It would be a national emergency right. if men had true hypogonadism, and some do, God bless them, hypogonadism. This would not be a discussion. How can you deny women the chance? They may not choose it, and I fully support that, the chance to live the healthiest life possible. Right, or how could you justify telling a man... You know, maybe you just need a hobby or maybe or it's just part some of, wine. Yeah, exactly. Like, go out with your friends hobby. more. <laughs> right. Get some better sleep. Yeah, he would punch the weight. doctor. He would just lose be like, weight. lose some weight. Yeah, lose some weight. Or this is just, this is how it is, honey. This is how it is now when you're 50. Welcome like, to the club. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Unacceptable. <laughs>